Good morning and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Jakub Vadinš and I'm going to be talking about Lego. So Lego is something that as an adult, you know, 35 years old, I'm really not ashamed at all for unbashingly loving it. Um, it's something that I used to love as a kid when I was between 5 and 10 years old or something like that. I used to love those those gifts that gave you the specific sound, you know, when you shook them. Uh, <laughs> and then you kind of fell out of it as a teenager. I don't know, it felt lame. Nobody was really playing with Lego. Maybe also they were not dealing well with uh, their franchises that much, but recently what they have been doing with Star Wars and with, uh, with uh, you know, like these architecture ideas or uh, here we're looking at Lord of the Rings is just incredible though these are quite pricey sets you know the Lord of the Rings is $500 I I bought it to myself approximately one year ago and then it was sitting in the box for quite some time and now I finally found some time to to put it together so what you could see in in the beginning was the the full set together However, I decided to update it uh, and I uh, obtained these Light My Bricks kits and these are designed and built by guys in Australia and they, they have like almost every popular Lego set. Here you can look at the schematics, right? The scheme is just incredible. There are so many cables that come inside, but everything comes with a great uh, manual, easy to follow, though of course you need to use quite some patience <laughs> to put it together. Um, the Lego Rivendell set, probably my favorite set of them all. Uh, it's also so much fun to put it together, even though it can take up to like 40 hours just to build. Uh, is uh, divided into three pieces, and this is the first part of the set that I I already plugged in, as you can see, right? So like that took me maybe that first set maybe one hour or something like that. That the, that is the smallest one, but you, what you can see is also the the candles are flickering and uh, you know there are there are different colors of all of the lights so i enjoy it a lot i'm here bringing the second section you know to life my favorite section of that all probably because there is a little waterfall there's this little bridge with arven and uh yeah it's it's just full of love right and full of these little tiny details what you need to do is when you purchase these these uh, light my brick sets, you need to kind of take it apart again, which <laughs> I was afraid that if I would be able to put it back together. However, like I said, it all comes with a manual. This one has over 100, uh, 100 slides, I believe. So quite a hefty one. The total connection took me about, I think, three hours maybe four or something like that and building the whole Rivendell set was maybe 30 or something like that but you know your mileage may vary right it can be anything between like 15 hours and 45 depends on how fast of a builder you are and what kind of technique techniques you're using so uh, here we're looking at you know the second part coming together and here you can see in this set what is great is that there's a lot of kind of cavities where you can hide all of these cables otherwise they usually go under the bricks with these with these little cables and uh, yeah here it comes together right like this this is beautiful this is my favorite part because that that glowing water that is just kind of changing the frequency and you look at this this chimney there right that that fireplace all of it just oozes atmosphere and i i think you know the lights give to an or, uh, already an extra, extraordinary set that is probably the best that Lego ever made. Uh, and that's uh, coming from a guy that made, you know, uh, that has a Millennium Falcon, which is probably the most expensive set that I own and maybe the most expensive set that Lego makes. I think this is the best one. Already 10 out of 10, but this takes it up to, I don't know, 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10, right? So this is the final section, the middle section, the biggest one where the ring is... Um, and you can see you have to, again, put it all uh, apart. You can see that underneath the ring, there is actually the the uh, eye of Sauron, uh, the, the fiery eye. So that's, that's a nice little Easter egg from the Lego designers. But I, I really enjoy everything about this set. There are so many tiny details, so many minifigures. Uh, here you can see already part of it is lighting up. Some, some of the candles are there. Um, that the little tower is light up 
Um, and yeah, here it is, I think, already fired up all together, right? So like that's the final piece. This this one took me the longest, uh, definitely like two hours, just, just this one piece, because just in this one you have maybe what, 16 lights something like that so all together in this set in the schematics you can see probably 40 lights and they have various different flicker effects so here it is all together when you plug it in back um, this is during the day so you cannot see uh, you know that many details but already even during the day it just adds so much to this set but I'll be switching very soon to, to the night version of this and I can recommend it to, uh, to everybody, right? Like if you, if you love Lego and already a, are a big collector, uh, you just visit lightmybricks.com and you know, do yourself a favor and just for that, you know, favorite set of yours, start with one, you know, one purchase and I'm sure you will love it because look at this. This is, this is the, the full unveiling, you know, of the night version of this. It doesn't consume that much energy. I just plug it into a power bank, but it's just beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I'm just thinking, you know, to have a little tiny speaker, you know, behind it that will play the, the Lord of the Rings soundtrack, the Rivendell soundtrack, because yeah, it's just, it's just pure magic. And like I said, I'm not ashamed at all for, you know, loving a piece like this because I spent uh, not only a lot of money on this, but also a lot of time on building this and putting this together. And honestly, anybody that comes to my house needs to see this. Like uh, I, I drag them first, to, you know, just to, to check this out because I find it incredibly cool. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions regarding the set or, you know, setting up the lights for this, let me know in the comments. I can't recommend it enough. I'll be, of course, glad if you subscribe. Otherwise, cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.